Hello, Cherries fans. Hope you're doing well this Friday night. Now, earlier today, you will have seen us do the funnel forecast with Tony Funnel, of course. And earlier this week, he was playing some golf. Let's bring Tony in now. Tony, how are you? Lovely, Sam. Lovely. Uh, and it was all part of raising money for the Forest Home Hospice. And we ended up uh, raising 2200 and 66 pounds there were 111 people that donated to it really great uh, to see that money going to an excellent local charity that does really good work and a charity that's close to your heart and to entice people to get on board we offered a few little competition prizes didn't we in terms of a superstore voucher a bottle opener a uh, rope and anchor voucher in pool uh, the pub for a 50 pound voucher but also a round of golf with yourself, but you also brought a special someone along, didn't you? Yes, it was nice. We brought a friend along, local celebrity Harry Redknapp. And to be fair, as soon as Harry joined us, it changed the raffle. Mm. More people got interested. Um, we would have had a good day with just myself playing and uh, the winner, but to top that with Harry as well, uh, superb it was it was brilliant so for every entry we got it was a it was a prize entry um for the competition and we made the draw live and it was chris root that won it and no word of a lie this is how the phone call went hi chris it's sam Davis from back of the net here how are you you've won the prize and the first words were i don't play golf <laughs> like okay <laughs> this this is awkward so he organized for a friend to take his place, but he was there on the day to caddy. That person was Simon Kay, who's in with us as well. Simon, how are you? Very well, thank you. I'm I'm okay. I'm moving. I don't swing many golf clubs these days, but I'm moving fine. Well, do you? We're going to find out because in this video, we've got a load of content that has been submitted from Chris Root, who was caddying on the day. You'll see him. Uh, you'll see Tony uh, and Simon as well. Now. There were you two playing, Harry Redknapp, and also Stuart as well. Was that right, Tony? Stuart White, he uh, kindly donated to Forest Home uh, to take the fourth spot on our four ball. And uh, Stuart also helped me do some organisation there because he does play at East Dorset. So uh, Stuart was a great help and a very good golfer as well. But it was at the Dorset Golf and Country Club and... Uh, they really helped you put on a really good day, didn't they, Tony? Oh, definitely, yeah. I mean, well, obviously, firstly, I've got to say Harry was brilliant and it was so good of him to get up, give up his time to take part um, for our charity golf day. And uh, I've always already said Stuart White was generous in donating and he helped me a lot. And uh, the Dorset Golf and Country Club, they just did a fabulous job in, in hosting the event. Um the food was great. The reception was great. Golf course was brilliant. You know, you, you couldn't fault it in any way. And uh, a big thank you to uh, Simon and Chris and everyone who bought a raffle ticket and entered and had a go. And obviously, I must say, big thanks to Chris because he bought a raffle ticket for a prize of a round of golf. And the guy, as we said earlier, he doesn't even play golf. So it's really good. <laughs> so uh, what we're going to do uh, is in between, you know, later on in the video, we're going to give a special offer to anyone um, who's an AFC Bournemouth season ticket holder. Some more information about that if you want to play a round of golf a bit later on. But I think we should get stuck into seeing what on earth happened on the day. This footage, courtesy of Simon and also Chris. So this was what happened last week. Let's check it out. So morning. Here's Chris, here's me, Simon, AFCB Dad. We're at the door sit, ready to meet up with Tony and uh, try and play golf today. How are you feeling, Chris? Uh, yeah, I'm sure, really. I don't really know. I've never been to a golf club before, really. <laughs> well, you'll learn a few tricks, I'm sure. So we're walking around now to get our first look at the course. Here's our taxis. Not quite sure which number we've got, but this will give you an idea of... Uh, the golf course and where we'll be playing. No shortage of uh, golf buggies. I don't know whether we get our own. Apparently we've got one booked. And here's the course. It's 
that's uh, where all the action will be happening. Hopefully it won't uh, get too wet as the day goes by. Right, so Chris, uh, do you understand the role of a caddy? Apparently that's your job today. Uh, I carry the clubs, I think, push the clubs, something like that. Yeah, and you kind of tell whoever you're with uh, how they should play a hole, like which uh, club to take. Do you know that? Just hit the ball in the hole. That's about the advice I've got for you, I think. I think that's the best bit of advice. Cheers for that. <laughs> the first tee. We could have walked, but why not use one of these when you go on? Let's go. Harry's already in front of He's off. I catch him up. I hope I don't crash. Okay, here we are for the Forest Home Golf Tournament today at East Dorset. First up on the tee, Simon. Thank you. Only in the crowd. Whoa. No crowd today, unfortunately, due to social distancing. All right, let's have a look at this technique then, Simon. Not bad, eh? That looks all right. Uh, didn't quite go straight though, but luckily it was in bounds. Stuart. <laughs> Stuart had a go next, let's see this. Uh, nice shot Stuart, straight down the middle. How are you next? It's down to a windy day, I've got to say. It's straight down the middle, Harry, you'll be right. It wasn't too bad, really. <laughs> oh, the boat, the, the what, the far one is? Yeah, the other one. <laughs> right. Shot. Nice. So yeah, what we're going to do, swing. they have, and Tony has, but you know, the technique that I'm really interested in is not Tony's tee shot here. We're going to actually slow-mo his cockney walk when he goes off to celebrate. Let's check this out. Have a look at that. That's a man who knows he's done very well with his opening tee shot, isn't it? Tony, <laughs> I was pleased, pleased with that, that were you? I was, I was happy with that, yeah. Uh, he did a few of them, the rest of them, we haven't got time to watch them all. Well, no, that's right. I mean, you know, let's see some of this putting here. Fairly good. Hey, oh, look, bandit, very early doors. So there you go. That's the first part, and we've got a second part coming up soon. So um, fairly, fairly decent start. Although Simon, you weren't overly happy with your tee shot by the looks of it. Oh, the, the tee shots for the, a number of the first holes were pretty shocking. To be fair, oh, really? but the, with the recovery golf, you know, the approaches to the green and the putting on the first few holes, I was even impressing myself. Hence why I was called a bandit there on the first. <laughs> Tony, how often do you play golf? Well, at the moment, I've been playing once a week, but um, I kept getting it in the ear all the time from Simon. I, well, I haven't played for months and months, maybe a year, you know, I don't play golf. And then all of a sudden, he's on the green and he's got an eight-foot putt straight in the hole. You know what? I think we might have to watch that now. So let's, uh, let's let Simon take over. Off we go. Back of the net express, as Chris called it. Chase Harry. Beep, beep. Watch out for that puddle. A bit muddy, a bit of rain. Was that par you achieved on the first hole, Simon? That was par on the first hole. Starts as he means to go on. Golf, well, golf shark. So. You've got to try not to peak too soon. I mean, you know, many times Bournemouth have been ahead early and look what happens. <laughs> Let's keep our heads, chaps. Very true, very true. So Tony, your you know your technique here, um, I think is is pretty good. And uh, look at that, lovely swing. Well done, mate. And everyone seemed to be oh yeah, in praise of you. Right. And, and it looked as if you were also giving Simon a you know a few tips as well by the sounds of it. Well, Simon kept hitting his ball to the right, and uh, Stuart had told me a, a little trick. Harry, I'll just give um, your partner a tip for the ball. Then he's hit straight down the middle. <laughs> And oh, this is the part then. This is the part. I can't even see the hole. It looks miles away. So here we go then. Simon, I've never played golf before, Kay. Here we go. <laughs> Fraudulent. Good, Fraudulent. Fraudulent. Harry, <laughs> I haven't played for years. Oh, yeah. I haven't played for years. How's that? Believe it. Harry, you can go on. Yeah, I'm going to go on. Yeah, 
And, you know, Tony, you've obviously, um, I mean, you went close with this one as well. You've got, you know, you seem to have a good putting technique. In terms of your strengths and weaknesses on the golf uh, in your course, Tony, what would you say, you know, where would you say needs improvement? All over, to be honest. I make silly mistakes sometimes. That's the trouble. I'm impressed, good how you've, I'm impressed how you've managed to put my highlights in it and not the lowlights. Oh, so thanks well, for that. <laughs> well, I mean, I had to, didn't I? Here's Harry. Yeah, t- Tony was always on the par threes. He was offering uh, a free ball if he could land it on the green. Oh, I see. And I, I never managed it. Too much pressure. But the others were good, though. Get down, get down, get down. Oh, keep going. Get down. Stay. No. You don't want to stay up there, Tony. Stay. Stay down, did it? Yours? No. Oh, you took the drop. Yeah. It was in the water down there. Oh, okay, so. oh there we go. E- everyone found trouble at some point. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, I mean, I've got to say, I'm, you know, very impressed, you know, by the standard as a whole. And, uh, you know, it it seemed to be, you know, relatively good conditions. I was checking the weather and I was a bit concerned, actually, in terms of the rain. I mean, it was fairly windy. But I tell you what, when you've got bunker shots like this. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Tony Funnel. <laughs> we just played the fifth hole and Harry spent five minutes putting a bet on. He joins the part of the hole, part of the only part. He's playing well though. See you later. I must give you a health warning. Hitting balls in amongst the trees can sometimes mean they might bounce back and hit you. So, put your crash helmet on. <laughs> Fingers crossed. That actually worked out okay. Yeah. Oh. Through. Happy days. <laughs> That's yes. a lovely strike. Come on. Right, right, right. Yes, Harry. Oh. Wonderful strike. And then we'll see another one from Tony. Look at that. Nice strike, Tony. Where are we going? Around the golf course. Hole nine, I believe. We're heading to the ninth. Off we go. In the AFCB podcast buggy. There's Mr. Funnel. There's Mr. Redner. Tee it up. So it's like a long putt. I did have a few long putts. Oh, 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 close. Oh, there's a little again. again. Yeah, yeah, there's a little cockney walk. Come on. <laughs> Tell you what, Tony, not bad. He got a good score, didn't you, in the end, Tony? I can't remember what he said your final score was. Stuart was all right as well. Yeah. Wasn't it? Stuart's a very good player, yeah. yeah. Very consistent. We've uh, now played nine holes. It's competitive. It's close. Everyone's in the match. And uh, we continue to the back nine and then to the bar. Lovely. So there we go. We're going to have one more compilation video to show you. So, yeah, first nine went all right for you. What was Harry like? Um, was he sort of telling footballing stories? I know it's Tony. You say that halfway through one of the uh, holes, he was he was putting on a bet by the sounds of it. Well, Earlier on, we was on the ooh, the fifth hole, I think it was. And we've all played uh, our second shots, and uh, I've turned round, and Harry's standing by his buggy, hmm. and he's got his hands holding his phone like that, and I can see he's not just standing behind his buggy; he's actually watching or listening to his horse race. <laughs> <laughs> The good thing was he actually won as well. But I said to Chris, I said, quick, Chris, get a close up. Look at him. Fair play to it. I, do, I don't know how he multitasks like that. I don't know. And, you know, Simon, did you hear many stories, uh, you know, from his footballing days? Yeah, I mean, obviously the thing with golf is, is, is with the way your balls go all over the place, you don't tend to get quality time talking because it's kind of sporadic. So, you know, once we got into the bar, <clears throat> once the golf had finished and luckily we missed the only major rain shower of the day, we literally just got in the bar before that, you know, fell down from the skies. That's when he got into his moment and he went through various different stories and he's just incredibly entertaining. Just so natural, comes so naturally to him and it's very easy to listen to his, his humour and his stories so, yeah, it was, it was just really nice just to listen to it. 
And it was, it, you know what? It's incredible how, how much he gets around because that was on Tuesday. And then I saw on Twitter, someone posted a tweet of him being at Christchurch at Herne Bridge to watch their match against Dulwich like, like Hamlet. It's like, you know, how does he get time to do all this stuff? Yeah, he said it was going. It was quite interesting when we were eating um, in the bar afterwards and he, he had a bit of his jam roly-poly and he said he was going out for dinner and then he suddenly realised that he was actually going to watch Christchurch. So he tucked in a bit more. <laughs> Honestly, right, yeah. what, what a lad. So um, we've seen the first two videos. Let's, um, let's close with the third. Now, just remember, at the end, there is an offer for AFC Bournemouth fans if you want to play golf. But um, Tony puts together a little presentation at the end. And we've got a few highlights. Not very. Uh, this doesn't take. Uh, this is just a couple of minutes to show you some of the remaining parts of the back nine. <laughs> Solid. Traipsing around after a lost ball, I believe. Oh dear, lost ball, is it? Uh, someone managed to lose their ball somewhere. But uh, Tony, it looks like you. Uh, it looks like you found it. Okay, yeah, he's happy. <laughs> Fair play to him. Um, and it. Oh, this is this is this is a. I love a long putt, don't I? Yeah, you do. Tell you Look what, got, yeah, you, oh, you got man. the contour of the green quite nicely there, I've got to say. And here we go. I was very happy with the two bunker shots I had. Oh yes, that was pretty damn good. <laughs> <laughs> You've done that before, haven't you? Uh, using his club as a microphone, I, super. I was, I was actually trying to teach Harry. I was trying to give him a tip because unfortunately Harry ended um, up in the bunker a lot. I've got a bit of a problem here. The hole's over there. <laughs> I need some advice. Just hit it with a club. And just get it in the hole. Yeah, just get it in the hole. Well, that's to the point, I suppose. All right, then. <laughs> Chris knows what he's talking about. something with a, a high angle. What number do I need, Chris? Have you been paying attention? Uh, like a nine. Good lad. Well, he does well, know what he's talking about. Nice. He picked it up quickly. You know we just finished our um, round of golf for the um, Forest Home raffle this year and we've got a few prizes to give out i've got one, a bit of jam roly poly tone and i've just knocked up this jam roly poly i've been in the kitchen it took me about an hour and a half but uh, i'm sure it'd be well worth uh, waiting for it looks fantastic <laughs> i can't stop eating it now starting we're gonna put it in the bag for you so we better say thank you for the chef for the jam yeah, yeah, roly yeah, poly yeah, yeah. Um, but chris for winning You've had a day out with us. Yeah, very good. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. That's been and, great. Um, you've got your rope and anchor meal voucher, mm -hmm. which um, I can come whenever you want. You can come if you want. Yeah, obviously. Been right there, I'll be there. <laughs> well, we've got you something, because you haven't played golf today, but we've got you a special oh, thank you very much. form of scarf. Good. We go, right? Back to the premiership this year, yeah. I think, former. I think this is uh, going to be on the way back. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Well done, Chris. Thank you. What have we got next? We've got a little box of tricks here. Stuart, I've got something here for yourself. What do you prefer, Harry? Black or blue? Anyway, I'm. Thank you very much. And we've got one here for you, Simon. Thank I'll you. Put yours here. Thank you. Got a big one for me. Of, um, Golf and Country Very nice. And what else have we got in that box of tricks? Stuart. We've got an extra three balls. How long do you want to leave him hanging please? with that fist bump there, Tony? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and the par four. Oh, and the par four. Par four. <laughs> <laughs> Thoroughly enjoyed it. Simon, Ooh, look we've got that. one for you. Thank you. And we've got an extra little prize for you. AFC Bournemouth golf balls. Very nice. Don't lose I've got them. Those. You Thank you. We'll put them there. Lovely. And Harry thinks it's all over, but we've got something for you, Harry. Right. And You're going to the most bunkers. <laughs> yes, you want some extra balls oh, for doing that. But also, Harry, 
thanks for coming along with us. Pleasure, Tony. And giving us such a great day. Yeah. Thank you. I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed your company. Oh, so, okay. So Tony. easy to say, Gary. Thank, thank, thank you very much. Really good. Yeah, we've had a great day. Thank, thank, thank you very much. Wonderful time. It's been a pleasure. I've enjoyed being with you. And we've raised 2,000, nearly 2,200 pounds. So Fantastic. All Brilliant. good for Forest Home. Brilliant. Great Cheers. calls. Well done. That's superb. That's absolutely brilliant. And you know what? Tony's funnel, Jimmy Glass is currently doing the comparing in hospitality. I think he's got a rival there because you did all right there at the end. Very good presentation. <laughs> so I've got to say. I was going to say there was a story. Um, when uh, we look back, the lost ball, one of my highlights was on the 16th hole. Now, it's a long par five with a, a ditch just underneath a raised green. Yeah. And uh, we all let our balls off the tee. And unfortunately, Simon, his ball went to the right and into the rough. Yeah. Now, we looked for well over five minutes trying to find his ball and no one could find it. And suddenly Simon points to a ball a further 100 yards down on the opposite fairway to us, which obviously someone had hit off the tee, the other going the other way. And suddenly Simon said, there's a ball down there. To which Harry said, and now Simon, you think you're Tiger Woods? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I absolutely love it. That's so good. Well, judging by some of those putts I saw, mate, maybe you are Tiger Woods in disguise, Simon. Uh, no, it's Tiger Funnel, definitely. <laughs> Tiger Funnel. <laughs> well, it looked like it was a cracking day, I've got to say. And uh, yeah, many thanks to Dorset Golf and Country Club. And we spoke to the corporate manager, Mark Windust, who has given us a special offer for AFC Bournemouth season ticket holders, half price golf. So if you want to uh, check out more information about that, you can go to dorsetgolfresort.com. You can see all the details there on screen. And what we'll do is we'll pop the link in the description as well. But yeah, once again, half price golf. You can't say fairer than that. And what's it like as a course, guys? I mean, Simon, have you played there before? No, first time. First time I've been over there. Lovely. It's very, very um, open, actually. It's very forgiving. So obviously mm. you play many golf courses and... You know, the rough is quite daunting and the fairways don't look wide enough for your ball to fit sometimes. But uh, there's plenty of space, so you'll enjoy it. The greens are lovely, very well looked after. First time he's played there, he hadn't played for years. We saw that with his <laughs> putting yeah. and, and chipping. Yeah, See, you're, just, you're just trying to make me feel like the bandit when it was clearly you all along. <laughs> I haven't played for years. That should be your new Twitter handle, I think, Simon. Uh, <laughs> Tony, um, and hopefully this could be a tie-up with them that we do maybe every year. Where, you know, if we do a different fundraiser each year for a charity, maybe we can work with them and, uh, you know, we can do this kind of thing fairly regularly, maybe. It would be nice because, uh, to be honest, they're very professional and they know what they're doing out there. Um, they put on these events every week. And uh, what they did for us was brilliant. So, uh, yeah, I think they're quite keen for us to help them help next year. So, mm. yeah, and I, did, I, think, um, I think Sam, I think Sam, I thought that uh, myself and Chris worked for the podcast because you know, <laughs> once we finished, well, I can't remember his name. He was lovely. He was asking us questions, and he gave us his business card. I think he thought we were oh, your okay. staff. <laughs> That's brilliant. Well, um, I'll be sending you your um, your pay slips very, very soon for sure. I'll make sure. Um, but yeah, brilliant, uh, brilliant day. And you know, did Chris enjoy it as well, Simon? Oh, absolutely. He, he's not a golfer, but he got fully invested in the journey. And obviously, as you can tell from the clips, he uh, begin began to understand the rules of golf. But you know, hmm. he's much more of a crazy golfer, as yeah. he put it to me. So he'd be happy if we can do a back of the net crazy golf event. And he'll feel much more at home. Maybe, maybe we can. You know, perhaps we can hire out Sandbanks and get Harry along as well. You never know. Uh, might be an interesting one. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. I'm glad you had a good day. And you know, the take-home point is the fact that we raised a huge amount for the Forest Home Hospice. Really chuffed with that. We've never done a fundraiser on Back of the Net before. That's the very first one. So to raise two thousand two hundred and sixty-six pounds. We're absolutely delighted. They're a great charity, um, end of life and palliative care, based in Paul as well. Uh, so, yeah, thank you so much, Simon. Appreciate you coming on today to talk about it. 
No, <clears throat> thanks very much. And Tony, thanks for being an amazing host. Uh, you made everything flow as such. It was just a great day out. Glad you enjoyed it. Thank you very much, guys. And uh, yeah, from the excitement of that to the excitement of championship football tomorrow, AFC Bournemouth Entertain, Queen's Park Rangers, three o'clock at the Vitality. Remember, we're on air at five with our free for all for about an hour or so. So feel free to get involved and have your say on the game. Really looking forward to speaking to one and all. And if you're new and you haven't been on before, then do get involved. We don't buy. All you need to do is just get some headphones, plug it into your device, whether it's laptop, tablet, phone or whatever, and head to the address that we'll give you uh, at the start of the show. Look forward to seeing you then. Fingers crossed it'll be three points tomorrow for the cherries. See you in the next video.